Hello everyone, it's Hexis here. Welcome to another video. Uh, today we are going to look at the latest update Warrant Auto has and it's Totems. We have a new building and we have new items that we can upgrade. So without further ado, let's get into that. So uh, as you can see on the wall here, we have a new new Oracle Square new building. It's called Oracle Square and then it has two tabs. We will look at them one by one. So first, let's get into the easiest of them, or which is the Oracle Quest. So here, there are a few things that we can we have to look at. First of all, the top top one, which is saying, okay, now level three, and it has a certain threshold point to meet. What does it mean? It means the level of the Oracle Square itself, and it has certain benefits at each level. So for example, at level three, what do you have? Weekly active reward times. You can have three of them then today the quest number that you can have per day at level three will be six number of quest refreshes that you can have is four at the moment then the available queues is two that means you can queue up two quests at a time and then the quest refresh chances so as you can see there is a white and green color here so 40 percent chance for white quests that means it, it's a chance for white quest for 40% and 60% chance for getting green ones. And then as the level increases, the chance to get higher quality quests also increases. And then as you go up, you can uh, scroll here. Previously, when I was at level 2 of Oracle Square, I could only go up to level permissions 6 to 7. Now there is an additional 1, 7 to 8. So it keeps going higher. So we can safely assume that the quest quality will also be like our materials or our artifacts where you have okay lower quality here is white and then going up to blue i mean green blue purple and finally orange so we have to wait and see at what level it becomes available and uh, how it is going to be so currently it show for me it shows under eight and the maximum there is 50% chance for a blue quest. So it, it's going to add more and more chances for higher levels. And then we just keep getting better quest. And here, when you go back, there's the, these bubbles that are the Oracle quests. Here, you don't have to do anything special. You just have to click on them. You will see what that quest needs. It just needs time. And here for me, it's two and a half hours for the green one and also actually the white level is also having same time just the quest reward is different for example here the white one will have oracle xp points that is required to increase the level of your oracle square itself then rune stones we will look at rune stones later when we look at totems and what are they used for there are different quality for rune stones as well and then of course um the higher the quest quality the better so we would always choose the green ones with why because we also have extra quest rewards in that and also the runestone number is increased here is 15 now and then there is normal sionic tattoos appearing already which are required to awaken the totems which also we will see in a minute that's it about the quest you just select which ones you want queue them up and that's what it says available queues zero out of two which means already two of my maximum queuing possibilities there already so i queued two right now which means i can't queue anymore until they finish today's times remaining it's now two out of six which i already did four quests today or the fourth ones are queued up now and then i can do two more today this is also limited by the level of your oracle you can see like today's quest times is six at level three and then available refreshes the quest refreshes are four now which means you can refresh quests if you're not satisfied by what you get in the bubbles here i already used up my free free refreshes it says you can have at level three four quest refreshes it doesn't say that it is free it's just that showed up for me at least yesterday it was three in the beginning and then at reset it only was one free refresh and then after that already I had to use gems, but I didn't. I just waited and once my level increased, I got one additional free refresh as well. So it doesn't mean that if, we, if it shows that quest refreshes are four, it doesn't mean that it is free. It's just that you can do a maximum of quest refreshes four times per day. So keep in mind when you actually refresh it because 
your quests when you collect them also it doesn't automatically refresh like or if there are four quest possibilities available when you collect the two only two will remain you would have to use the refresh to actually have all four options back again otherwise you would only have two it doesn't refresh automatically so which means keep the refreshes that you have per day so that you don't exhaust the number that you can do maximum per day and then miss out on the chance to get the quests and each refresh you need gems to do which in my opinion is ridiculous because that's already increasing the the money value let's say or the gem value on the event which which is already limited by a lot of different factors and now we also have to use gems to refresh it it would have been better to just have that quest refreshes for free rather than having to use gems on it however that is what it is right now okay now after this there are two more tabs in this in this page that we can look at um there is a weekly reward tab pretty straightforward you finish a certain number of oracle quests in a week you get extra rewards what i understand from this uh, level permissions you have weekly active reward times three that means you are only allowed to collect three out of sorry three out of the available or the ones that we are qualified for uh, the quest rewards uh, that is what I get from it. We can't have all five of it based on the levels that we complete. Only three can be claimed. So anyways, in the beginning at lower levels, we don't have it. You don't have to choose between them. We can just wait uh, for the three to finish if we can this week and then collect them. So as you can see, as the higher level number of Oracle quests are finished, you also get a chance to acquire better quality rewards so here already the superior rune stones are appearing at the level at the third stage of the oracle quests weekly reward so that's that you can get two for free and then the lower ones are only unlocked at certain oracle levels so there is a level 10 requirement level 14 first you need to have that before you can see how many oracle quests you need to finish per week to be eligible to get these rewards and now let's look at the final tab on this page which is the breakdown tab there are two options available for you here one is to break down rune stones and another one is to break down your sionic tattoos and breaking down either of these items will get you two separate pieces that we can use in the oracle shop here the first one in on the top tab you can see sionic tattoo piece you get that by by breaking down sionic tattoos and then there are runestone for crystals that you get by breaking down runestones and of course the higher the quality of these um, items you also get higher quality runestones is what i assume or maybe more number of uh, runestones is what we get because we don't have a different color available here it will be higher chances for more number of pieces uh, for your breakdown because when you break down um, certain number of rune stones or sionic tattoos there is a chance that you would lose some of it so you wouldn't get the maximum effect of it you wouldn't get the maximum or you would have a chance to get it but not a hundred percent chance that you would get the maximum out of breaking down a certain number of rune stones or sionic tattoos for example and when we go into the oracle shop there are certain items that you can buy based on what you have so the runestone crystals or sionic tattoo pieces in the beginning stages they are not really relevant because we still need them to upgrade our totems which we will look at later first of all these these items that we are having here are only useful once we outgrow their use so we have too many of them lying around that we can break them down and get rewards which will be much later into the game for us free to play players at least if you're buying rune stones it might be faster for you however in a normal pace it would take time and it's the the beginning levels they don't look really that useful to me like you break down rune stones and get normal rune stones or normal sionic tattoos which you can already get from the quests and you need a lot of them to upgrade uh, the totem levels so it's not uh, smart to actually break them down to get them back again with a smaller quality or smaller number where it gets useful or interesting at the moment is higher level of um, oracle square itself you need to have a certain level of oracle square to be able to buy the better quality rune stones or sionic tattoos here 
at level six and maximum going up to level 18 at the moment. So the level of Oracle Square could be 40 as well as we have the maximum castle level at 40. But we have to wait and see because we only see up to level eight now or level nine, depending on what level your Oracle Square reaches so that it shows one extra level permission. It's not showing the maximum limit yet. So we really can assume right now. So that's it about the Oracle shop and the Oracle quests. Now let's go into the more complicated tab here, which is the totem tab. So on the bottom uh, bottom layer, layer of this page, you can see different colors of totems so the beginning it's the fertility totem is a blue quality totem and then you have the hunting totem which is also blue and so on so we have two blue level totems three purple level totems and two orange levels what does it mean like this means that the artifacts that you can equip to initiate the level increase for a totem or when you start getting all the stats that you need from a totem you need to have an artifact equipped in the middle slot here and for a blue quality totem the lowest level quality lowest quality of artifact that you can use is blue that's that that's what it means when it says blue totem and then if it is a purple totem you need minimum purple artifact and then if it is orange you need minimum orange quality that's so for blue you can go from blue to orange purple you have you can have from purple to orange and orange you can only use orange of course and then also when you look at this tab here when you click on the middle slot uh, on on the right hand corner of the artifact itself you can see a specific small icon the one where like the lubus halberd is equipped uh, equipped into my totem right now that's why it has that um uh, half moon and a, a sword sort of icon on the right hand corner and if it's uh, if the artifact is already in your array that's what it shows it's like it's on excalibur right now uh, the circle sort of icon that's there that shows that it is already in your array so the limitation what we have here is that when you are equipping an artifact into the totem you cannot have it in your array at the same time so you would have to either use an artifact that you're not using currently for the current purpose that you want the totem for or use an artifact that um, you are not using at all because you don't need to have the artifact equipped for the totem's effect that means you don't need the artifact in your array to have the artifact um, the totem's effect to take place so you can just keep like this one, the the blue quality artifact that I have right now, which I'm not using anywhere um, like that in this slot just for the sake of it and have the effect of the totem still activating when you send the totem in your march, which we will see um, later when we look at the march and how it works. So here itself, uh, each totem has specific stats that we need to look at. So on top here, it says totem power 16. That means it, uh, it increases based on the level. And what does it mean by total level, which it means that when you go into this one, you have this small heart shaped bubble that is um, blinking right now. That's where you start upgrading the totem level. So here I only upgraded it once. That's why it's one out of three. And in the bottom tab, you will see uh, what it is used for. So this this totem, the first level is Archer HP. And you can see what percentage change is bringing is brought by the that upgrade. So level one to two becomes 1.2% increase in Archer HP. Uh, below that, uh, you see the number of rune stones required per level to be up to upgrade this um, um, like to the, the level of the, that uh, particular stat. So you need at the moment for level two, 15 normal rune stones. So for blue level totems, you need normal rune stones and for purple level totems, as you can see here, if you go into one of them, you need superior rune stones. And finally for orange levels, you need the master rune stone which is the orange quality rune stone and they all have increasing requirements to upgrade it so for example one out of three the number of normal rune stone that you need is 50. so let's say we go into the next next bubble that you, if you click on it you will see it is infantry attack and you see the amount required here is 130 for just the level one of it so it's gonna take a long time for us to accumulate these levels to reap the benefits of totems actually you have two 
special skills just like think about it as the colossus itself so when you reach specific levels in the colossus you also have additional stats unlocked just like that when you reach special specific levels of your total level in totem you can also unlock the special boosts that the totem has so here on the left side skill growth one that increases the hp of infantry and cavalry by two percent there are conditions to activate that and that is the current slot that is the middle slot you say one out of 60 right that one has to be level 24 and the artifact that you are using for this its star level has to reach one so we already have that completed so that's fine then the right tab like the right side that is another one which is a higher level or the second um, skill that is again infantry and cavalry hp boost because it is the fertility uh, totem now so it focuses on the frontline hp so the current slots total level has to reach 48 and the artifacts star level has to reach two you can look at it this way like when uh, unused artifacts we are accumulating so many fragments you we can easily for some of them at least we so we can now make them useful some very useless artifacts like cup of jam shit and all that we can use them but still we will need artifact experience points to level them up and everything when we are at this we also can look at one more thing that there is a small refresh icon on the corner here and next to the artifact if you click on that you can actually remove this artifact and equip something else that you're not using for example in your attack year maybe you would have an orange quality level three i mean star level three uh, artifact that's not at the moment in use you can just equip that instead so how do you do that you remove this artifact it says if the artifact is currently used is set on fertility totem if you continue the operation you will remove it and lose the previous root stats that means if you continue like you won't have that effect until you put a different another artifact that's all it means you are not losing the upgrades that you did you just can then choose another artifact let's say this one bryonac and then you put that in there it will activate again so you have the stats again back that's all what it means so you can just uh, put it back like i would just put it back right now to what it was before because I'm testing it out still and I will see depending on the use that I have what can I do how to set the artifacts up later so you can also play around with it and see how it works because you can not have the same artifact in the totem and the array at the same time so we have to play around with it a little bit and since it doesn't cost us anything here to change this I believe it's all right to actually test this out as many times as you want and then as you can see there is a certain tree path that's going like this this is the way you have to upgrade it and then each upgrade will go like this which is a funny way of doing it however it doesn't really matter the amount of rune stones or that you require is increasing anyways so just like this you would have different tabs different options here in fertility totem it's still the skill is infantry and cavalry hp boost at that blue level it's lower requirements and if you go let's say to an orange quality you have three artifacts that are required to be equipped here it's already infantry hp and then the special skills are damage reduction for army of course it's um an orange quality totem so you would have better stats that you can unlock what are the requirements here you would need again current slots level 24 and the artifact star already has to be level 2 for the first skill itself and then for the, the second skill it is level 3 so here it becomes trickier where you would need more fragments for your artifact if you are using a, a one artifact that you haven't been upgrading or something like this and then so we have to see how we can make these totems more effective by having them all available maybe you could use an unused artifact at the time uh, at the time that you already have upgraded to a certain star level uh, for that instead of using it in the array and then have the smaller stats anyways available with your less useful artifacts as an example for um for using the different kinds of artifacts so just like that that's how you upgrade your totem's total level and then also there is a reset tab here just like you have in beast talents um, you can reset your totem totem levels uh, once per week so it's a seven day cooldown i already tried it so that's why it shows for me now it's six days remaining so once you have that you can also reset it and you're getting all your resources that you spend on upgrading the levels back so it's also a good thing that we can 
if you don't have to worry about missing something or or mis making some mistakes right in the beginning we can still make changes later on now we go into awakening totems so it says right now it's not awakened we click on that you go into another page here how do you activate why do you, how do you awaken your totem you have to wait until a certain level of your totem to actually be able to do use this awakening tab here at the bottom right corner and you also require sionic tattoos now so at blue it's normal sionic tattoo that you require a certain number of them to awaken the totem and it says please upgrade the fertility totem to level six first that means it means the total level of the totem so that is like total level is one for us now we just need to get it to, to total number six so i would say the left side it's to level three first and then the right side to level three because it is the cheapest way to go with it so you don't need that higher level of higher number of rune stones to wait and you can just um balance it out and get the total level required to be able to awaken this and then there is a skill effect when you awaken the totem so you here it is fertility blessing to level one it means your infantry and cavalry hp increases by two percent and it unlock at level six the blessing uh, will also reduce the damage taken by infantry and then the skill effect is like total level of totem when it is at six your skill level is at one when it is a 12 year two and then a so on and so on you can see the requirement here up to skill level 10 and then the bottom layer there is a skill growth the spirit of fertility blessing will additionally increase the hp of my lord's infantry and cavalry by two percent so an additional increase is possible there as well and what is the condition to activate that you need your skill level to reach seven that skill level means the right side here for the totem which means you need 78 total uh, level for the totem to get to skill level seven to be able to have that skill growth activated and extra requirement is artifacts total star level reaches three and for me it shows that the total star level is already three that's the boy that means it counts both your artifacts that are equipped so lubu's halberd is only one star chukonu i have a two so that means the total star level of the artifacts is three that's what it means there so that's another that's at least a good thing that we don't have to worry about upgrading one to level three and then you know like spending lots of artifact experience points or fragments which we don't have maybe at the time so that's what it, what that's what it means to awaken and how to awaken it we saw before how to get sionic tattoos the normal ones at least and then when you go into a purple one just to look at the different uh possibilities that are so now in order to awaken this here of course the higher the quality of the totem the requirement to awaken and grow skills also increase here you need superior sionic tattoo to upgrade it or to awaken it and then the artifacts total star level has to be five here but we have three artifacts there so that kind of makes it a little bit easier on us to be able to upgrade that and finally if you look at how to awaken the the orange level the the or legendary ones here there is only condition to uh, increase the skill level to seven which is nice there is no requirement for the artifact total levels so that's a good thing in my opinion that we don't have that much at uh, legendary levels uh, to be to be met to be able to have that extra power and that we are need master sionic tattoos so the sionic tattoos also have three three levels of quality just like rune stones sionic tattoos are used for awakening the totem and rune stones are for upgrading the total level of uh, a totem itself all right so now finally let's look at how we send totems in our march we can actually use them everywhere including ruins rallies and monster attacks even so let's let's today's monster face for us let's find a monster to attack just to show this it's too far away but anyways um just like the beast you can send totem along with your march as well as you can see here there is another tab for totems so you will see all your available totems and you can set them up here in this tab you can actually set a specific order in which your totems can be sent this means if you click uh, in this this empty square right now if you click on this fertility totem first that means it will get a number one then a number two for the hunting totem which means 
automatically they are selected when you send out a march and the fertility totem will be the first one to be sent in your marches you don't have to then extra select it you can also dis already decide what order you want them to be sent you can only send one totem per march so you can decide what is the order to be used so if you click on this now again and then click the hunting totem first that means you get the number one there that's the priority order basically and then you click confirm and then you would have that so hunting totem it changed now in the first march that you can send and you send it now if you look at another monster or it's it's the same for reinforcements or anything like that as well you need a beast minimum in your march to be able to send a totem along with it And then finally, we get our third march. We only have two totems available right now. So if you click here, you can see that your beast is marching, your totems, no totems available to deploy currently. That means that's it. Like you don't have extra totems, you can't send them anymore. So that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all learned something new and it clarified all your questions and doubts that you had so far about how to set totems up how to do the oracle quests and so on and so on if you still have any doubts feel free to leave that in the comments below and see you in another video goodbye guys